Welcome to Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Today I'm bringing you guys along with me to Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Coeur d'Alene is this little gem of a town in northern Idaho that's just a stone's throw over the Washington border and it's full of so many cute little shops and restaurants and the town sits on the beautiful Coeur d'Alene Lake so there's lots of lakeside activities and water activities. So today I have this beautiful pontoon boat thanks to Discover Boating who's sponsoring today's video and I'm out on the water doing some exploring. The first place I've headed to is Beauty Bay. Look how gorgeous this is. I've never been down here before, but I saw it on the map and it looked absolutely stunning. It's this little serene bay. There's a handful of other boats down here just floating in the water. Definitely the type of place to come just sit your boat and hang out. Something interesting about Coeur d'Alene is it's kind of become a low-key celebrity hangout in recent years. Kim and Kanye were spotted here on 4th of July a few years back. Shaq has been seen here, Harry Styles, Julianne Huff got married here I think like four or five years ago, which is so funny because I mentioned this in a recent video. When I was growing Growing up in this region, I thought it was the most boring place in the entire world. I wanted nothing more than to move to Hollywood or Laguna Beach or somewhere where I thought cool stuff was happening. And high school me would have died to know that there were celebrities being spotted near me. So of course now that I'm grown up, it's become a celeb hangout that I would have thought was so cool when I was a teenager. This is my second boating trip this summer. I've had perfect weather both times, but this is my first time I think ever driving a pontoon boat. And so far, I think this is the easiest boat I've ever driven. I really, really like this. There's also a ton of space on this boat. I didn't realize how roomy it would be. If you have a big family or a bunch of roommates and you're looking for a good social distancing activity, a pontoon boat is gonna hold all of you. And if you're new to boating, the discussion boating website has tons of resources on all types of boating how you can get into it whether you want to rent a boat or buy a boat if you want to take an educational course to learn how to boat I'll also have a link to their recreate responsibly page down below that has safety tips for boating in general as well as during a pandemic something else that Coeur d'Alene is known for is a great fireworks show I remember coming out here as a kid and watching the fireworks I don't know if they did it this year but usually they have a really good show It's getting to that like really golden glowy part of the afternoon where it's like it's like a warm hug to just sit here in it which might sound dramatic but after living in rainy Seattle for six years you come to cherish these moments like when you have a summer day where you get to just sit and soak up the sun you like make a mental note of how this feels so that in January when it's pouring rain every single day you remember that there's like light at the end of winter they say boating is supposed to be good for your mental health because you're outside you're on the water which is supposed to be very calming you're getting vitamin D being out in the sun I know that for me just being outside is such a game changer with my mood sometimes like if I'm having a bad day and I just carve out some time to go out for a walk or get some fresh air, it can completely turn my day around. So I just returned the boat to the marina and I've hiked up Tubbs Hill to watch the sunset over the lake. I found a little secluded spot. If you ever come to Coeur d'Alene, you need to do the Tubbs Hill hike because it's like a mound sitting right by the water and it's a really easy hike, but the whole path runs around the outside. So you get really great water views and there's lots of just like little coves and nooks that you can sit in. Also, you know how I was saying that a lot of celebrities come here. When I was bringing the boat back, I had to get it fueled at the gas dock. It's like a dock you pull up to and somebody helps you fuel your boat. And there was this gorgeous wooden boat in front of me. And the guy helping you with the boat said that Justin Bieber was on it a week or two ago. I don't know if it's a rental or if he owns it or what, but he was saying that Justin Bieber was up here for a couple weeks hanging out. So if you're looking to camp out and celeb watch, Coeur d'Alene 
is the place for you. If you do ever get the chance to come here, you definitely should. There's a beautiful resort and marina on the water that does the most insane brunch I've ever had in my life. They probably aren't doing it right now, but it's a two banquet room buffet. And it's not like a buffet with like warm food under heat lamps or something. It's a chef station buffet. So there's chefs to make you omelets, crepes, anything you want. It's absolutely ridiculous. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed spending a day with me in Coeur d'Alene and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.